So historically, we've thought about uh, two canonical types of business models for content companies. One is we charge users, subscription. Two, we charge advertisers, advertising-based models. If you look at simply the last decade, about $2 trillion of market value has been created by less than 10 digital giants. Most of them are competing now in the content business, but content is not core to their businesses. It's a complement. So the idea of complements goes back you know, 50, 100 years, even more. Hot dogs and ketchup, classic example, cars and roads. Well, it turns out the idea of compliments has particular importance in digital worlds. Hardware is useless without software. Uh, now we think about companies, digital giants, who essentially compete in the compliments space. Apple creates iPods. To sell iPods, you need songs that are cheap. That's iTunes. Over time, free music becomes the perfect compliment for selling MP3 players. If I'm Microsoft, I compete in the software space, I would love for all the compliments like hardware and content to be cheap. If I'm Amazon, I want software and hardware to be cheap because I make money on e-commerce. If I'm Google and Facebook, I make money on advertising, I'd love for content and hardware and software to be cheap. You start seeing the incentives of players competing in complementary spaces. The implications for content companies are profound because if I simply think of content as my core business, as opposed to recognizing that it's someone else's compliment, I might miss the entire game. So we can think about Apple competing in music. Now you might say, why not increase the price of songs on iTunes? That's fine if that's the only business or product you're selling. The moment you look at it in conjunction with hardware, in fact, you want to price it cheap. Free docs by Google is a choice. 9.99 ebooks by Amazon is a choice. In other words, each one of these companies is taking steps and very rational steps to try and make sure the compliments to their core businesses are widely available and cheap. And that's the challenge I think facing content companies.